Hey, ooh, I can't stop doing that. Hello, YouTube. And welcome to what is going to be the start of my newest project, or LP. If you don't know what this is by the menu, this is L.A. Noir, one of the games that I've been waiting to play for quite a while now. Now, it would be I would be lying if I said that I wasn't extremely excited for this. Uh, we're going to hop into the new game. I tested it out earlier today. And it went pretty, pretty well. I'm just going to show you the graphics are there if you want to pause the video and check them out. Not going to dwell too deep into that. We're not going to play back black and white. Um, all of that should be already set. So, we'll start a new game and there's going to be a cutscene and I'm going to shut up for it. And you're going to shut up as well and... God, I'm so excited for this. But uh, this is L.A. Noir. A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. Every man can own his own home and have room to breathe and not be overlooked by his neighbors. The city where a man's home is his castle, a quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. The city of opportunists. The city of dreams, or Hollywood shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. A city of pioneers. A city of dreamers. undercurrents, where not everything is as it seems. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries, that will stretch as far as the eye can see. deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGBL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, go to. Roger, 14 Adam en route. And thus begins the game, and... Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search. We're driving. Some kind of catch. That's great. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. This is not going to be a very long drive, and uh, I hope, hopefully, the audio is not too loud. I might have to uh, pause the recording and check it if you can actually hear me. Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up. Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male, bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a lowlife. 
I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got out of here. To be. Happy hunting. Oh, the facial animations are gonna make my head explode this is of a happiness. Fist just going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. We shall talk it out. All right, so... Press... Music will fade down to indicate... Look at this junk. Look at what junk? Why are, why are we looking at junk? Oh, it's the newspapers. I know those. Those give backstories, but that's very random. Not my job to pick through other people's trash. We're supposed to be looking for a gun. Oh, look at this junk. The mind is the final frontier. Let's check this out. Dr. Fontaine. Could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, Doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr... Sheldon. Or Courtney Sheldon. I'm only in second year, Doctor. They fast-tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes. Given the right set of circumstances, trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. We try to find ways to unlock the mind again through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. Hypnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hands, Shift. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. A good friend of mine, he's so far away. It's like he's wandering around. You went through a lot together. Yes, Doctor. Give me his details and I'll make a prognosis. I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Shelton, and your penance, for your friend's help, is to come and work at one of them in your spare time, with what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I, I can't thank you enough. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure, for whom he can only smooth the path to death. I'm like seriously all smiles right now because this... What have you got, Phelps? Anything? Yeah, I got a newspaper. I got a newspaper, and no, I'm not gonna... Yeah. Wait a minute. Cole, Is there actually take a look at this. anything on the bottle? I would assume not. Hold on one second. Checking out this bottle. Optimistic, Cole. Nope. <laughs> Apparently not. But yeah, I'm all smiles here. I tell you, I'm jinxed. I always get landed with this crap. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Alright. Let me run on over there. Oh, there's blood. <gasps> We're never going to find it. It's a waste of time. There's something here. Oh, that's probably where... Bloodstain. put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. That's great. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> don't get all deep on me, Phelps. I don't think there's anything else there. Inspe... How did you saw that? Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? Exactly. A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right. Don't hurt yourself. Oh, now I get it. All right. It's like on that the roof, and yeah. Uh, so now we gotta find a way up there. Is there? Wait. There's something over here. This? No. What is it? The gun's is it up this? on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. That was probably the the uh, the bottle. Oh, drain pipe. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? It's over here. 
That is probably the murder weapon. Smith and Wesson, serial S71893. To investigate it further. Two rounds fired, and instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. Put the object down. Yeah, let's just leave it there. We oh. should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave town. Oh, he's walking on... Oh, no, he's not walking on zone. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. Could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. Use the notebook to set your next destination. I didn't actually check... Oh, tab. All right. Uh, locations, I guess. Gun store. Set as a destination. All right. Are you sure about this? It's not really our gig. No harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little Boy Scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Yeah, you enjoy the foot. You enjoy the foot up your ass. How about we run a little? Can you run? Thank you, you can run. Alright. Don't want to take up too... too much of the day just walking around, doing nothing. And I believe you can get your companion or partner or whatever. I've been playing too much Skyrim. <laughs> to, uh, to actually drive the car. But I'm going to do that myself. At least for now. When I get bored of it, I'll, I'll ask him to do it. Cue ominous music. Seems to be a long way there. And I know that if you crash, you get a deduction in points. So if I crash the car, that'll cause public destruction or something. And uh, the case rating goes down, which that's not going to be good for me since my driving skills are very, let's say, infamous. You, that's your fault. Holy crap. This handles very, very, very well. Are we there yet? Seems, oh, there it is. Uh, central guns. We sell ammo. Learn to shoot. Do we walk? Oh, no. We do not walk right in. We have to walk in ourselves. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson. Model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357. Nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? All right, so there's been a... Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? Uh, Model... 27, um, 27, nope, not that one, need a 27, ah, here. We're in luck, Errol Schroeder, 203 South Glass Street, ordered the gun in February 46. That's a very realistic, a big help. realistic looking hand. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Well, that was pretty easy. Now we got that. And I love the Can fact that he actually in? opens the Let's door. Let's see if he's at home. Does it just the gun run out? Prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. Oh, you're you're gonna drive. Ah, fuck. Uh, Schroeder's apartment. And set as destination. So now, I, now we got the owner of the gun. We're gonna see what he has to say all, they might about all if you this. Use the siren, Phelps. We're gonna move anyways. 
Not like they're gonna get hit by a car just because it doesn't have sirens on. And here. A little now that shortcut. That wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we. Are you blind? Uh, no. This is the way there. Are you dumb? I guess.